Welcome back, Future Medicos. In today's video, I'm going to talk about Centac Counseling. You all know that Centac is the authority for conducting counseling for Puducherry Union Territory. So in this video, I'm going to mainly focus on the management quota counseling that comes under Centac. And under the management quota, basically, there are three private medical colleges in Centac. PIMS, Manakala Vinayagar, and Venkateshwara. So the counseling, I'm going to talk about only these three colleges. And in my opinion, there are two shortcomings in Centac counseling. I have spoken about these two shortcomings in my video last year, which was done in Tamil language. This video, I'm going to do it in English. My goal of this video is this video reaches someone in Centac. They understand the merits of these suggestions and then probably they consider for the further year counseling. I don't expect changes for this year's counseling, but at least in the future years, they can take these suggestions and implement it would be better for students. Now, what are the two shortcomings? The first one, typically, if you look at all the other state governments, they do registration separately and then choice filling separately. They generally separate these two activities. For example, in Tamil Nadu, right, they do registration first and then choice filling happens later. So they do registration, they release the merit list or rank list and then they do choice filling. And then once the choice filling is done, immediately like one or two days later, the seat allotment happens. MCC counseling, it has a combined registration plus choice filling, but the advantage for them is once the choice filling is done, immediately they do the seat allotment. Like if you look at Kerala, Kerala do the registration very early, maybe sometimes in February, March, they do the registration, but the choice filling always happens closer to the seat allotment. But if you look at Puducherry, that's one place where they combine both the registration and choice filling. Say, for example, this year, many of you might have applied for Centac around mid-July. So at that time itself, you would have given your choices. What are the colleges? What is your preference? College preference, course preference, right? They would have asked for it. Now, today we are on 10th August. That is about three weeks later, we are still waiting for seat allotment. Now, they, a lot of things could have happened between these three weeks. MCC round one counseling has happened. Many candidates have got seat allotment and they have joined the colleges. Tamil Nadu counseling has round one has completed. Kerala round one has completed. Punjab round one has been completed. So, candidates might have got seat allotment somewhere else and they could have moved to those colleges. They might not be interested in Centac anymore. For example, if you look at Centac management quota merit list, there are candidates with 600 plus score. They are not going to be interested in management quota if you are going to offer them the choice filling now. But since the choice filling has been done well ahead, at that time, they are not very sure. They want some backup. Many of them would have given choices for a particular private medical college in Centac. So what happens? Basically, the first round seat allotment will be meaningless. I'm not talking without any data. If you look at the last year, the previous year, the last two, three years, you look at that, the first round seat allotment, they, they do a lot 75 seats under management quota in the first round, roughly 75 seats, and not even one candidate takes the seat, which clearly shows that the choice filling is a meaningless exercise in round one. Nobody is interested in the first round allotment. So that's the first problem. The second problem I want to highlight is the number of seats reserved for minority students. I'm not against the reservation for minority students, so don't get me wrong. So we have two minority colleges in Puducherry. One is a Christian minority, which is PIMS. The second is Sri Venkateshwara, which is a Telugu minority institution. Now in a PIMS, there are 75 seats reserved for Christian minority. And in uh, Venkateshwara, uh, last year we used to have about 75 seats. Out of 150 seats, 75 seats are reserved for Telugu minority. This year, Venkateshwara has increased the number of seats from 150 to 250. They got the permission from NMC to increase from 150 to 250. Now, out of 250, 125 seats are going to be reserved for Telugu minority students. So, 75 seats reserved for Christian minority, 125 seats reserved for Telugu minority. Now, if there are a lot of applicants, I don't mind. Okay, you can give the seat. But let's look at how many candidates have really applied to Telugu minority and Christian minority. I will show you the merit list. Look at this merit list. This is Telugu minority merit list. We have only 15 applicants. There are only 15 applicants. So for how many seats? 125 seats are there, but only 15 applicants are there. So in the round one, when you reserve all the 125 seats, 
what will naturally happen minimum 110 seats will go vacant minimum 110 seats it will be more than that right i'm, I'm not sure whether everyone will join the telugu minority seat so minimum 110 seats will go vacant similarly if you look at the christian minority there are only 16 applicants one six applicant out of how many seats 75 seats reserved so what will happen 59 seats will go vacant Straight away, 59 seats are going to be vacant at the end of round one for PIMS. It can be more than that. For example, right, the candidate with 480, maybe they may get some other seat. They may get into government quota. I'm not sure, but maybe, right? But let's say, right, let's assume that all the 16 candidates are taking seat under Christian minority. That will leave 59 seats vacant. So basically, the round one in Santac Puducherry becomes a trial exercise. Yeah, it's a trial exercise. It's a mock exercise. Very rarely candidates join any seat allotted in round one. Why? Because of the shortcomings which I have just highlighted. One, the choice filling happens much earlier than the seat allotment. Second, the seats are unnecessarily blocked for minority students, even though everyone knows that there are not enough minority students. Now, what can they do? What better Centac can do? Number one, separate the registration and choice filling. Do the registration first. Then I know, right, every year you have some problem, right? There is a lot of delay. Last year, there was about two months delay. This year, there was about one month delay. Doesn't matter, right? Let, let there be delays. We will face delays. After these, you are going to release the merit list. Once the merit list is released, open up the choice filling. And then once the choice filling is done, within one or two days, release the seat allotment. So that will ensure that only interested candidates are participating in the council. Now, does it guarantee 100% seats will be filled? No, of course not. Still, candidates will block the seats. I know that. But at least, right, 50% of the seats will be taken up. Many candidates who are interested really in Centac will participate. That's the first suggestion, right? Separate registration and choice filling. The second suggestion, reserve the minority seats only to the level of number of applicants available. What do I mean by that? Say, for example, Telugu minority. This year, we have only 15 applicants. You know, once merit list is released, you know that there are only 15. So reserve 15 seats for Telugu minority. Take out the remaining 110 seats, put it into the general management quota. Straight away, put it into 110. Add it to the general management quota. That's why I say, do the choice filling after the merit list so that you know exactly how many applicants are there. Since there are only 15 applicants, we know 110 seats. They, they, are, they are not going to take it. So let's push it to general management. Similarly, Christian minority, we know there are only 16 applicants. Reserve 16 seats in PIMS for the Christian minority. Take out the remaining 59 seats, put it into the general management quota. So this way, for round one, we will have another 169 seats available for candidates who are really interested. Now, will there be vacancies in the 16 and 15 seats reserved? Yeah, there may be vacancies. That can be added in the second round. That's fine. But the, that's going to be very little, right? Even let's say, right, five seats or 10 seats coming from there it's okay right that can be added later but why should we block 125 seats for 15 candidates is there a logic i don't understand ideally right if center can separate these registration and choice filling wait until the preparation of the merit list and then open up the choice filling it would be beneficial for everyone one the candidates will be benefited because you are going to have additionally 169 seats. And since choice filling happens closer to the seat allotment, only interested candidates will come. Candidates who have already taken seats in All India Counseling, candidates who have taken seat in Tamil Nadu, candidates who have taken seat in Kerala, they will not come here because they might have already taken seats. They might still come. I'm not saying no, but at least the numbers will be lesser. More interested candidates who want to come to Centac, they will come. And we will not be in a situation where 100% seats become vacant after round one. So I, my kind request... Do these two steps, separate registration and choice filling, and then reserve the minority seats only to the number of applicants available. Open up the remaining seats for general management quota that will benefit everyone. I hope someone in Centac listens to this and look at the merits of my suggestion. Thank you. Bye-bye.